new palette today. I feel good about this one. This is going to be, I think, a little bit different. It was actually titled Electrical and Outdoor Goods. So, from the title of it, Electrical slash Outdoor Goods, I'm guessing Electrical means Electronics. Plug it in, and Outdoor Goods, Sporting Goods? I don't know. This one kind of has me a little intrigued, but you saw the thumbnail, three boxes. In this box, which we're gonna go through first, my cat's been scratching at it right here. So I'm kind of curious of what he was trying to get into, but you wanna know the MSRP of this box, the full manufacturer suggested retail price on amazon.com is $1,979. That's a pretty good full retail value of all three boxes. Just literally a few dollars short of $2,000. That's if everything's brand new, that's the full retail price. This is custom returns, so that is not gonna be the full price because half this stuff's gonna be used. What I actually paid, my actual price. I got it for $160. That included shipping because I pick my stuff up so I don't pay shipping charges. Never pay shipping. I stress this every video, but I'll always get at least a dozen emails asking about this. Always buy locally and pick it up yourself. Shipping will be at least twice as much as what these will cost you just to buy. So if I paid for shipping for these three, it would be at least 300 bucks. So if I bought these plus paid shipping, I'd be paying a minimum of probably 450. That's just low balling. I pay a minimum of $400 to get this into my hands. That's too much. So that explains the shipping process. So, that is my number one tip I give everybody. Do not pay shipping. Buy locally. If, if you have to drive two, three hours to go to a liquidator, do it. Do it. Buy two or three auctions. Pick them all up at the same time. You'll save a boatload of money on shipping. I actually used to pay for shipping because I didn't have a truck. And I was paying over $1,000 a month in shipping charges. Then I started picking them up. So let's get going. First box. Hmm. It looks like mostly electronic y kind of stuff in here. Let me show it to you. Oh, don't fall. Looks like everything has a box to it. I don't see anything looseness. Everything you see in this box will be sold on eBay, on Amazon, and in my shop. Um, all prices will be different. Five bucks on Amazon could be two dollars on eBay, could be three dollars in my resale shop. You know, all prices will be different in all different selling platforms. So first thing I pulled out, let's just let's just get going. Looks like this thing appears to be brand new. We've got a battery tender junior. Looks to be completely 100% factory sealed still. All the cords are still factory tied up within the package. So first thing out of the box, and it looks to be 100% brand new. So this would be considered like electrical. So it's, it, it is electronics, but it's electrical. So this is an automatic battery charger for looks like lead acid AGM and gel batteries so this is this is awesome so this is probably I've never sold stuff like this this kind of an item but uh, I'm gonna give a round roundhouse estimate maybe about 35 40 bucks but below I'll I'll look this thing up during the editing process to get a better guesstimate on that but it can't be super expensive probably 30 40 dollar range Next item, we got our first true customer return package item. There's your uh, tape job. 
all-in-one toilet repair kit. So I want to handle this thing carefully just in case it took the plunge, per se. So we got a Perfermax all-in-one toilet repair kit. Should I smell it? Just uh, As a reseller, sometimes one of the best ways to tell if something's new or used is just to kind of smell it. Obviously, don't put your nose on the item, but, you know, like coffee pot, smell it. Anything that has to do with oil, just smell it. Not used. Just smells like plastic. So, it looks like somebody bought this, opened it up, and just put it right back in the package. So, uh, all in one toilet repair kit. The package on this thing is absolutely just thrashed. So I, this is not suitable to be sold online just because the packaging on this thing is so bad. A person would be like me. If I'm looking to buy a toilet repair kit, if I saw this on eBay, I wouldn't buy this because I'd be like, there's no way in heck that this thing is not used because the packaging is so bad on it. So this would be like a resale shop thing. I bet you made about 20 bucks on it in that range maybe. Keep going. We have a belt, uh, some kind of a belt for something. Looks like this must be going with the uh, outdoor goods kind of a thing. On it says D&D power drive, heat and oil resistant, AA-124. So this will be one of those research things. I mean, the belt looks brand new, it's just it's missing its packaging. So, a research item. Next, oh, actually, I'll probably, I'll probably keep this. We got, it looks like some, uh, it's kind of like some bungee cord stuff. I can use this to tie stuff down. So this, I will hunt, probably 89.7% keep this. Yeah, it's just like tie down cords. It's probably not actually what it was meant for. It was probably meant for something else more than likely, but yeah, this would be fantastic to use as like, like a tie down. Always good to repurpose stuff for something else. Let's see what we got. Quite a few things in here without packaging. Like this item right here. We got a unit in. Let me just tear this out of the packaging. We'll get a closer look at it. Unit in. You see it there. Huh. I'm guessing this has to do something with the vehicle. I'm I'm bet I'm guessing. It has like a little mute button right here. It even says mute on it. The camera's not gonna pick it up. A mute switch. It probably has something to do with the car radio, I bet. More research on my part. I don't know how much this like something like this would actually go for. So this has to do with the electrical part of it, but I mean, it's, it's true electronic, so. Let me pull out something a little bit different that's kind of staring at me in the face for a while. We have a Smart Bullet LED Floodlight Plus Sensor. Okay. Let's see if it's new or used, or if it's actually even in the box. I don't know, this might be one of the more expensive things in this entire palette. Hmm. Well, here's what we got here. What's supposed to be in this box is this, the smart bullet, such and such. And what the person return <clears throat> what the person returned to Amazon is this. It's just a very cheap uh, just a floodlight, probably a $20 floodlight from Lowe's is what the customer actually returned 
to Amazon. Let me actually look and see how much this thing actually cost. And let's see how much the customer scammed from Amazon. I'll be right back. Okay. This item retails on Amazon for $241. With the customer return right here, I didn't look it up, but it probably retails for no more than like 20 bucks. So uh, you saw firsthand right here, a common Amazon customer scam. They purchased this for $240. They probably took this off the side of their house. But it actually looks like this, honestly, this thing looks new. So they actually might have just went down to their local Lowe's or Home Depot, bought this thing off the off the clearance table for, you know, five, ten bucks. And, uh, yeah, they even, they kept the instructions, they kept everything. And they took the little ten, twenty dollar floodlight, they threw it back into the $240 box, they packed it back up, and they sent it back to Amazon. And Amazon accepted it, because Amazon, Amazon, they don't care. So, once again, on this YouTube channel, you saw another Amazon customer's scam up close and personal. And this is why products keep going up in price, because... Uh, People like to steal stuff. And the only way to stop it is companies like Amazon, they have to make the customer stop it. The problem is they don't. They just give the customer their money back and the customer just keeps doing it. They just keep stealing like that. So, anywho, let's move on. Next item, we've got a genuine oil filter. And this actually appears to still be brand new. So actually the next item I get out of liquidation is still brand new. Oil filter, eh, not a whole lot. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a vehicle person. I pay to have my oil changed, you know, down at the Jiffy Lube. So oil filter can't be much more than like, what, 10 bucks or so? I don't even know. <laughs> I know it's bad. I, I should know stuff like that. Oh my next item we've got a Siemens just like a like a fuse switch this can't have a whole lot of value maybe five ten bucks it's electrical though let's see what next we got we got a Bosch premium oxygen sensor. Different. Looks, that appears to be used. It's got some weird markings on it, some green, I, some green on it. I doubt it's probably supposed to be green. I'm guessing it's not supposed to be green around the ends of it. So, I'm guessing that's probably used. Not 100% sure on that, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna say this is probably going to end up being trash more likely because it looks used. Okay, let me go ahead, let me pull out something. Let me move a little bit faster through this box right here because I, I just keep seeing a lot of bag stuff in this one. This first box, if that floodlight would have been a home run if it actually would have been in the box and not a five dollar you know switch out oh here is a oh here's there's okay this is one of those things a and b yeah one of those things like those lights that you put underneath of like your bar or something and you can light up those lights uh no packaging i'll have to test this thing out it has already been used. The little strips have already been taken off and stuck one time. So probably not maybe like five bucks. We're gonna pull out the other big item in this box. 
This one says multicolored light for above ground pools. That's what that looks like. Let me go ahead and pray that hopefully this one, because this one, at least this one seemed like it might be a little bit more expensive. Sounds a little more expensive, right? Come on. It's got nice packaging now. Whoever originally had this, they shipped it so. Ooh. Nice. Okay, this looks 100% still brand new. You got that. It's still like it's all tied down and everything. Let me look this thing up real quick. This might end up now. This this thing might be like my most expensive thing in the whole palette. Be right back. It's not bad. Sells new for about $63. So uh, I'll go ahead and just lowball it. And I'll say maybe about 40 bucks for it. In that range maybe. Just because it's not pool season anymore. We're talking this is October. So uh, I'm kind of limited where I can actually sell that at right now. And then... General purpose, yeah. This thing looks melt, I don't know. Fluid water pressure, little gadget gizmo thingy right here. I don't know, this is gonna take some research on my part for what this thing is. I'm not sure. Here's a thing of blue. Powdered pigments, turquoise. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So far, this first box has just been kind of unusual. Fram Extra Guard air filter. I don't know, we'll say this may be about 10 bucks. We'll say 10. Another one of these Siemens switch thingies. Another one of the Bosch oxygen sensors. One of the Siemens things, Siemens, Siemens things. Some more of the Bosch things. Bosch sensors, Siemens. Uh, Ultra cut compound mirror glaze. Eh, it's about five bucks. Air conditioner and appliance timer. Eh, maybe about 15 bucks to look that thing up. Try it out, honestly, too, because this might be you, so I'll have to try this thing out to make sure it works. Looks like it might be new-ish. So, I bet you made about 15 bucks and one thing left in this box. Shrade. Where's my knife? What is this? Last thing. Box one. I'm kind of ready for box two. I know you probably are also. Box, whoa, what's this? Ooh, daddy like this. We got like an ax. Let me look this thing up real quick. This thing is kind of freaking awesome. Be right back. So not a huge seller. It sells for about $35. Um, that's new price. This does appear to be, does appear to be new. I checked it out. It's actually pretty cool. It comes in like this sheath that you can like put onto your belt if you wanted. Clips out comes out and it's actually really freaking cool um, very good chance I will probably keep this because it'll go nicely in my truck and you never quite know when the zombie apocalypse might hit and this would come in quite handy in a pinch so that is it that's everything for the first box probably keep this keep the rope so first box wasn't that great if that, if that motion light, the smart light would have been in the box, that would have been awesome. That would have been like upwards of $200, but this is liquidations. It's a pure gamble. So let me box up all this stuff. Let me switch these boxes out, and I'll be right back.
Here we go, box number two. It's, it can only get better from here, right? It can't, it can't get worse. It's gotta get better. Yeah. I'd say box one was kind of like the box of those uh, Siemens, like, fuse switch things. That was like the box of those things. And there's not much in this box. It's got some weight to it. But there's not there's not a whole lot in in this box. Let me show this to you. Kind of smells like chemicals though. Kind of smells like smells like a swimming pool. Kind of like chlorine, but kind of like a swimming pool, but not total chlorine. I don't know. Kind of strange. Man, this thing's kind of has some weight to it. What is this? The box is a mead box, kind of like mead, like books. Be careful cutting this thing just in case if it's not something. Oh my. It is mead. It looks like it is an entire case of mead, wide ruled, 70 count. Notebooks. At least they're brand new. One in here is uh, lightly damaged, kind of. So there's a total in here of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18 in here. This will be a great item at a dollar a piece, I'm, I'm thinking. I mean, that'd just be the best way to sell these things is probably put them in my shop cut the front off of this thing display it kind of like how they display them at Walmart sell them that way for a dollar a piece they'll sell this thing's got some weight to it we've got a 100% pure blank white box zero marking on this thing what is in this Is this thing that has a the chemical swimming pool smell? No. It might just it just might be a whole lot of smells just mixed together that's creating this odd smell. I think. Man, what is this? It's in bubble wrap. This is what smells. Um, I don't know what this is. I'm going to take my camera off the tripod and give you just kind of a little zoom of this thing. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at right here. So, um, a little bit of a closer look. This thing's pretty heavy. I'd say it might be 15, 20 pounds. It seems to be dirty. It has a very strange odor to it. Kind of a chemical pool... Swimming pool, I don't know, weird smell. I don't know if this, I don't know. Anybody out there knows what this thing might be? Please, say something below in the comment section. Here's the paper that goes with it. Computer tested, quality assured. Starter, a starter. Oh, I guess it's a starter? Starter type Delco, starter model, model PG260L. So I guess that's a starter? Really? Is, is I guess this is a car part? A starter? No clue. Please, if anybody knows, comment below. Let me know if you think this thing is like totally, let me, hold on, let me, let me pull this thing out. Okay, here's out of the bubble wrap. Kind of what it looks like. I guess, does this thing look damaged to anybody? Any car guys out there that might know a little something, something? That might know what they're looking at here? Because I really have absolutely zero clue. Something like this, I would literally just have to almost just put it like in my shop for next to nothing. See if anybody wants to buy it. 
I mean, it looks like it's probably it's probably used. It probably doesn't work. Kind of what I'm guessing. So, comment below if you know anything. Let me put this thing back onto the tripod. Okay, we have a hose. Looks like just a connector hose for something. Looks to be in good shape. Ten dollars maybe. Here we've got a pure Maxion. Let's see. Filter is used. Yeah, it's all used. So, something like this, either it's trash or it's like dollar box. Next. Oh, here's... J is for Jeep, is what it says on the bottom there. Probably goes onto the back of the seat or something that hangs over it, I bet. It's kind of what I'm guessing. Probably about five bucks. Let's just take this thing out. It's in an Amazon poly bag. But then it has its own kind of factory bag. What are you? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Here's to be brand new with tags. Brand is Halova. Always the best. Land engineered for baby. Simple and practical. Looks like just like a backpack. I guess to probably put your baby formula in. Maybe a breast pump or something. So that's probably 30, 40 bucks right there. Brand new with tags. Can't beat that. So that is not bad. Oh, what is this? I don't want to get this bag dirty. Let me put that a little bit farther away. Man, this liquidation's got some unusual stuff in it. Here we got just like a bracket with some mounting tools on it. Dollar box. But here we got some sort of fan, obviously used, it's got some wires hanging out of it. I guess these are meant to tickle people with, more than likely, that's what I would do with them. Just tickle people with them. Uh, says the brand is Brown Newton LLC model F05 blah blah blah, July 17. It's it's pretty heavily used. It's probably burnt up. It probably, it probably doesn't even work. 100% chance that it doesn't work. We have a little tiny puzzle piece from somebody's child's toy. Uh, light switch cover. Dollar. We've got some more random belts here. This is some more research on my part. Figure out what these belts go to. Like once again, the belt looks brand new. It's just missing its retail packaging. I mean, this thing could be a $20 belt. I just got to figure out what the belt goes to. Find the model, the brand. That's the liquidation business. Sometimes you got you got to do faceplate totally shattered. You got to do some research. Sometimes you got to really dig and find out what these things go to. Here we've got a plier type stapler. Like a thingy. That's nifty. I'm going to say that's about 10 bucks. Take it. Two things left in box two. I'm kind of ready for box three. Let's see what's in this one. So, at least after box two almost being done, I think this might be the last one I buy that's labeled uh, like electrical slash outdoor goods. This might be the last one I buy like that. Oh, Swell is a good brand. Swell is a more of an expensive brand. This thing is, looks like it was, it was used, but uh, probably like one time. This is a hundred, this is a 40 ounce Swell. New this thing is probably about 30, 40 bucks. New, used in this condition. This is probably easy. I mean, as long as I just Clean it, wipe it out, make it look nice and pretty. Easily 20 bucks for, for that swell. Might be a little bit more than that. Last thing in the first box. We've got a Moan 
oil rubbed bronze single handle valve for looks like your tub or something. This is random. This isn't electrical or outdoor goods. You can always get some random stuff in your liquidations. That's always a guarantee. Huh. It all looks to be brand new. There's your moan, all your accessories, your handle, all your goodies. I'll probably say this thing's probably about, I'll say 30 bucks. Update it below during the editing process, but it's brand new. It's actually just uh, damaged packaging or Amazon warehouse damage, so that's why this thing got liquidated, but it's at least 30 bucks, at least, maybe. So that's it, box two, done. One more box, bear with me. Let's hope box three gets better. Fingers crossed, it can't get any worse. I'll be right back. Let me box this up and stick with me. Let's do this together. Let's be a support system for each other. It's gotta get better. Box three. I got a good feel about this box. This one has got to be the best box. It has to be. But this is the liquidation game. You can't always get pallets that are just home runs every single time. It's not possible. So, looking in this, there's like five or six things in it. There's not much. Let me show you what I'm looking at. It's like an awkward box. Hmm. Let me pull out the thing on top. Whatever this a ceiling lamp. Okay, I'm gonna take your bets right now. Who wants to bet this thing's broken? It doesn't sound healthy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's broken. It's glass, and it's broken. I'm just gonna push that off to the side because I don't want to get glass on my table, on my floor in here. That could be an accident waiting to happen. So it, it looked nice. I don't even want to pick it up because I don't want any kind of accident to happen. So come on, box three. I'm, I'm, I'm counting on you here. So here we got a filter. It's new. So we got a, a brand, a Fram filter. Let's say 10 bucks on that. Huh. We've got a fishing pole reel here, looks like. That's different. A Revo X. Some of these can get very expensive. This one doesn't look expensive. I mean, I could totally be tricked on this though because I do not know my fishing gear. But let me look this thing up just to be safe. This might be expensive. But yeah, it's a Revo X. So I'll be right back. Not bad. So this is the Abu Garcia Rev 04. And it retails on Amazon for $84. So that's not bad. I'll see it's open package item. I mean, but it looks like it's never been used. It's never like been spooled or anything. So it looks like this open package item retails new at $84. So I'm guessing I could probably easily ask, I'm gonna say about 70 bucks. So best thing in the box so far. That's not bad. I'll take that in a heartbeat. Next we got an Oregon uh, chainsaw blade. Mm. Eight to ten bucks. I'm not sure what's in here. Different. See that? Cool Woo is the brand. Anybody, has anybody heard of the brand Cool Woo? I have not. Oh, this is a, this actually might have some value to it. Hold up. If I can get this thing opened up, 
It is a, here we go, a bus backup system. So it's got, this bag has got all your, all your little gadgets and gizmos. Um, let me look up this thing also real quick. I'll be right back again. So on Amazon, this brand is no longer sold on Amazon. So it appears this brand got suspended on Amazon. It is no longer being sold. So it usually means the brand did something to get kicked off Amazon. But um, on eBay, prices are all over the board. I could sell just the, like, like the head unit itself for about 30. I could piece this thing out. So I think I could possibly sell everything the way it sits as high as 60 bucks for the entire contraption. Or I could piece it out. I could do this for 30. I could do like this thing for 20, 30. So there's multiple ways to sell this thing. I could piece it out and get the most for it possible or sell the entire thing as a bundle and get it maybe as high as 60 for it. So, I mean, I'll just go ahead and say I can get as high as 60 for it for everything. So, it's not bad. Next we got thermostat wire. Different. I'm gonna say about 10 bucks. Can't be that far off. Here we have a hat. About five bucks. It's a nice hat. Next we've got Muscle Gain 5000 Rock Hard Muscle Water Putty. Get lean, get strong, get big quick. Huh, that's some fancy stuff. Get Muscle Gain 5000. That looks like some fancy stuff. I might have to take some of this. So I'm gonna say this is probably maybe about uh, 10, 10 bucks or so. Muscle Gain 5000 for $10, good deal. We've got some AC Delco. What is this? What are, what are you? You are used. Looks like kind of used. Uh, there we go. Got your gadgets and gizmos. Yeah, I'd say about 10 bucks. Good price. Next we got your Tecton. See what's in this bad boy. Ooh, this looks kind of nice. Looks like this is very, very extremely lightly used. Like just a few times. Let me look this up. This might have a little bit of value to it. Bear back. Yeah, so this is a Tech 10 1 4 inch drive click torque wrench. Sells new for $41. So in this condition, probably about. 25 bucks, not bad. I see a couple of these in here. Let me pull these out. Three of them, is that it? Yes, there's four things after these. So we got three of these. These look like, they, they look new, just uh, damage box items. They are GFCI outlets, Radiant Legrand brand. Huh, I'd say it was probably about 10 bucks a piece. So maybe $30, maybe $25, $30 for all three-ish in that range. I'll update below. And next we have another very fancy dunce hat. But the dunce hat though is lightly damaged, but kind of so, sort of fixed. Uh, it's a good resale shop item for about five bucks. Good price. Let's see, we got Holly Performance Parts. Brand new in the package. About five bucks. Good price. One of the best prices. Ooh, that looks cool. We'll say that for last. One of the best prices in the world. Genesis Multipurpose Oscillating Tool. That looks nice. Look at that. So this is actually... This third box so far has been my favorite box. It actually did have a little bit of excitement to it. We got a fishing fishing reel in it. It's a Muscle Gain 5000. A Tecton cool thingy, a dunce hat. 
a broken chandelier. It wasn't that bad. Third box was actually the best box. I'm kind of glad we did this thing last now. Kind of end on a bang. Yeah, this thing is lightly used. I have to test and make sure it works. But there's the inside of the box. It has all the all the accessories. So that's not a little bad little gadget. Uh, if that's used, maybe about 30, 40 bucks or so. I have to update that during the editing phase. One thing left. The torture is done. Last item. We have a Nano Vault 200. Well, I've sold these things a few times. It is an open package item. Is it going to be locked where I can't get into it though? Of course it is. Of course it is. And it's actually crunched. Yeah, if you can see it, it's actually damaged. Looks like somebody got mad. And, uh... <laughs> I think... So, there are no keys. The keys are missing. It's supposed to have a cord that wraps around so that you can, like, tie it off onto something. The cord's missing unless if it's inside of it. So, with no key, no cord, there's no way to get into this thing as far as I know. If you know a trick how to get into this nano vault, hit me up. But as far as I know, I mean, yes, I could drill and get into this thing, make sure there's, there's nothing in it, but there, if I hold it, the, put my thumb on the key part so it doesn't shake, there's nothing in it. So there's no key. The person kept the key, they kept everything, and they returned it. So, this is trash. I thought we were about to end on a bang, but we ended on something cool that's actually trash. I guess it was kind of fitting that we ended on something that was trash after all. It was kind of fitting for this liquidation, right? So, that's what we got. I mean, I'm very intrigued myself when I edit this video to see what the profit, what the potential profit can be. I think a lot of the, most of this palette is going to be a hard sell. A lot of these things are going to be an extremely hard sell. Uh, like the fishing reel, that, that will be extremely easy to sell. That will sell very, very quickly. But 99% of this palette is going to be an extremely hard sell. So this is one of those things that you buy. Of course, I got it for a good deal, whatever I paid for it, 160, 180, one of those two numbers, can't remember now. I didn't pay a whole lot for it, so I will get my money back. I know I will make money on this, but it's gonna be a hard sell. This is not one of the pallets that you wanna get. If you buy liquidations, this is not what you wanna buy. This is a nightmare to have to sell because you've got so much stuff that you've got to move and you got to find buyers for this. You got to find buyers for this. So, this is the true liquidation world. No fluff, no sugar coating, no planting the boxes with cool stuff. Of course, I mean, I did get some muscle gain 5,000. That's freaking awesome. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Wish it was cooler, but actually, I kept this out of the second box, the first box. This is my favorite thing from the entire thing, this ax. I'm definitely keeping this. I, I gotta keep this. There's, 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 no, there's no, no way around it. I gotta keep that. But hopefully you enjoyed this. It was brutal. It wasn't the best. Next week though, uh, Tuesday. I'm gonna have health and beauty, but just give me a second though. I'm gonna do it with my wife. She agreed to be on camera. We're gonna shoot it probably tomorrow or Monday to give plenty of time to edit and make everything look nice with the lighting and everything, you know. And that'll be up Tuesday night, more than likely be Tuesday night. Health and beauty, myself and the wife. I'm not sure how we're gonna shoot this, but it's gonna have to be, you know, from back at an angle kind of a thing to have two people fit. Might have to do it in like a different spot somewhere else. We'll have to see. Health and Beauty, and also next week, I've got a cool electronics palette that I actually picked up today. I'm looking forward to that palette. It's going to be, it should be 
purely electronics, the kind that I like. You know, with records and vinyls, hopefully. So be on the lookout for that. That's coming up next week. We're gonna have more Funko Pop stuff if you're into that. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you wanna buy anything from these three boxes, except for the axe, the axe I'm keeping, the Muscle Gain 5000, that's for sale. Anything you wanna buy, feel free to hit me up through email, direct links to hit me up or in the description box below the video. Hit me up through email first so I can keep track easier of everything. Social media second. So feel free to share these videos with, with all your friends, all your family. The channel's growing. Everything's looking good. Thank you. And I'm out.